What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and in today's video we are going to try to finish up progression here. So we are level 38. I'm going to play from now until like 10 or 11 uh, at night. Uh, so that's like three or four hours and then I'm going to render the video and upload it for you guys. So hopefully we can make some serious progression today so then we can start doing more... Um, more tip type videos for the noobs guide uh so we can because we'll be able to finish up the character and, and go from there so yeah so we are here at uh the northern wheat plantation in calfian i was able to actually get a plus 14 bears longsword off of the auction one went up for the minimum price and so i was able to buy that so we have a plus 14 instead of the plus 12 that i bought in the last episode so a little bit higher ap which is nice uh and so we're gonna try to progress today heavily i really hope i can get to at least fit i don't know 50 i feel like i can get to 50 in the amount of time that i'm allotting myself obviously i'll eat and do stuff like that but hopefully i will get it done um i wanted to say real quick tomorrow which is tuesday the 3rd of september i will be live streaming on youtube getting my archer to level 57 if you are interested in that that'll be at 9 a.m eastern time um and then I will have, depending on how that goes and depending on what we do, I might actually start my Twitch streams then. Uh, I might move over to Twitch after we get the Archer to 57, but we'll have to see how that goes. Um, obviously, my Twitch is the exact same as my YouTube. It's Rejected Gaming II, and uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitch because that's where I'll be streaming after tomorrow I, i'll stop streaming on i'm just going to stream on youtube tomorrow for level 57 on archer and then um yeah just so i can have people check in on the channel and see that live streamed video and then they can know that uh if they want to see more live streams they can come over to twitch um the first official twitch one i'm going to do is wednesday when i get home from school i'm hoping that'll be like 3 30 to 5 30 or 3 30 to 5 something like that that'll be a short stream i'm going out on wednesday night uh for my birthday i think i'm thinking it's wednesday maybe it's not but i think it's wednesday and uh that yeah, that'll be a short one and then t thursday will be a longer stream i'll be live again at 9 a.m eastern time and I hope you guys can make it to one of those streams. I know 9 a.m. is not the most conducive to people with school or work, but it's what works the best for me with college and work, so it's when I'm going to end up streaming. You can always watch the VODs. I may upload, uh, depending on what's done in the streams, I'll upload them to YouTube. If it's just grinding, I'm not going to upload that to YouTube, but if I actually accomplish something or do something, I'll upload it to YouTube. But let's get into this video. I'm going to go ahead and advance the story. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit for more, um, you know, side quests or stuff like that that we need to cover. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and progress the story. Alrighty, guys. So we have a couple of things to do now. Um, I'm up here just turned into a quest. So we need to go talk with Marco Foss, the Lord of Keplin, about the ooze. That's where we are right now. But we picked ourselves up another set of earrings that are better than the exquisite Naga ear accessories. These will give us plus three uh, attack instead of plus two defense. So we're going to equip those, get our AP up to 88. And then I'm going to equip these, the defensive one, over the binder earrings to uh, keep that plus two defense. So now we have these Path of Powers. So I can't open these anymore because I failed to open them uh within the time limit so i was going to toss them out of the inventory sadly i can't open those but we can't open this one we had seven days so i'm going to pop that open and it's going to give me the level 50 45 got three days to get this done seven to get this done we're going to get it done tonight so it won't even be an issue i missed out on some stuff which is kind of sad and annoying but uh that's you know my mistake my 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 fault not mad at the game for it. So we did get Jurat's belt, which is nice. Uh, we're going to throw this on. We don't even have a belt on at this moment. So we're going to get to 92 AP, which is perfect. Um, and that was pretty much all I needed to talk about. So we're going to continue questing. There hasn't been really anything for me to talk about. There's been a couple of side quests here and there, but there's nothing fairly important that I need to discuss or anything like that. And so I just, you know, there, there, there's not any side quests that you really need to do. There's just like optional stuff that's like, well, if you're really bored and you want to get, you want to do something else, you can do this. But other than that, um, there's not, they're not even that good for reward wise. Um, like the repeat quest, no longer human. 
uh, kill the miners suffering from the petrified disease, just kill 130 of them. I mean, it's something to do, but where is it? There it is. It doesn't even give you that great of reward, so it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, I don't really think I need to mention it to you guys. It's one of those quests where it's like, hey, if you're bored and you want to do it, go for it. If you want to progress the story and, and you know, get to towards being level 55, probably not worth doing. Uh, so, yeah, I'll get you guys in a little bit, hopefully with some more stuff. All right, so we have come to the first boss of the episode. Uh, I expect there to be a couple in this episode, but... We've got the de 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 the dim tree spirit. I was going to say defeat tree, tree spirit, not dim. Okay, so let's go ahead and fight this guy. I think he's one of the easier boss fights later in the game. I think. I don't actually remember. Um, yeah, he has the really long wind-up attack, so it's really easy to get in behind him. And my character didn't dodge, so that was weird. Roll, thank you. I don't know what that was. The first time he just kind of stood there and took it. Ooh, I did dodge that. That, that attack's the hard one to dodge, is the long sweeping ones, because you kind of have to roll backwards, and I'm just not used to rolling backwards. And... Is he done buffing? Yes, there he is. He has, like, this really slow animation to turn around to. You like it, It's almost like... like so he, like, teleports around, and so you can kind of just mess with his AI. I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at that's gotta be 100% one of the easiest bosses in this entire game. There can't be it. I mean, other than like Red Nose and some of the very early beginning end of bosses, that's gotta be, I mean, that's gotta be the easiest. It, it's not even close. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna progress a little bit more now. We'll be back in a little bit to pop these open. We're gonna get to level 45 really quick. Um, we were just level 43, uh, and we were, what, 42 when I checked in the last time? I mean, we're going up really, really quick. Uh, let's see. Let's pop open these real quick, get our inventory. You can see how many inventory slots we're getting up to for just doing the main story quest. We also are getting a bunch of black stones that we can sell or use, which is also fantastic. But I will see you guys in a little bit uh, with another check-in and update. All right, guys. So, we are back. We just finished up this quest area here um we got tool in the leave and so our next thing is to turn your back towards the wagon hold then move back to, we will get there um to eavesdrop that's not what i'm here to talk about now if you want to do the 130 kill quest this is when i would do it um i'm not gonna do it but i'm gonna show you what you should do if you do want to do it because you're gonna get some gold bars out of this uh, i have to make sure i find the guy i want to talk to yep right up here tustin this is the guy. This is your guy. If you want to do the 30 kill, 130 kill quest, you're going to want to talk to him. He's got two quests for you to kill petrified miners. Uh, fairly easy quest. I'll grab them here just to show you guys. Uh, it's just 10 petrified miners and five um, petrified miners and collect their skin. I guess we can... You know what? What the heck? Let's do it. I actually thought it was way more than that, but it's not. But yeah, if you're going to do the 130, you definitely want to accept this. Uh, it's really, you know, really easy. These quests are, you know, for the time invested, for the reward, they are really good. I just trying to progress a little bit quicker for you guys so that we're not doing this for the rest of eternity. Uh, and you can see we already completed that one, and we just need to kill one more miner, and that is complete. I mean, that's really easy. You should definitely do that. I actually, th I thought it was 15 skins and 30 kills, which, which is really not that long either that's like five minutes but it's a little bit longer than that was that was like 10 seconds so let's go ahead and turn this in we'll grab the gold bars i don't know if they're the gold bars that are yeah they're the only the 100k gold bars but that's still pretty good 400k for like five seconds we also picked up the kaya necklace which is better than the jurettes but the jurettes i'm getting bonus for because we have multiple pieces of the jurette we have three right now which is plus five ap so i'm not going to get rid of the durettes even though this is better uh because we have that the other thing i wanted to talk about which we are going to do one of these times and people keep talking about why haven't i done nodes and why haven't i done stuff like that and this is the reason why so i have 106 contribution points and we're gonna go into the quest here gotta find the right quest talk about it where the heck is the quest 
Um, hello, quest? Quest? Where is my quest? Hold on. Where is my quest? Here it is. Best weapon and armor in Calphia. So we're going to go ahead and go and get the Kaya weapon and the Kaya armor from Kenobis and Dobart. Uh, I'll get them in this episode. We're going to accept that quest. You need 100 contribution points. So if you've been investing in nodes all this time, you won't have the contribution points to get these weapons. And the reason why I'm going to get these weapons is because it will save us money now. I'll return them later when I want to do nodes because you get the 50 contribution points back when you return them. You're essentially renting them. And so when you return them back to the people, you'll get your contribution points back. And that's when I'll start investing in nodes when I'm ready to invest in nodes at that point. So that's why I haven't done the nodes is because I wanted to do I wanted to do it like this. And so that's kind of, you know, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead here. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but it might be the best weapon in armor in Calphian, but I'm not quite sure. But I do have the 100. I was waiting for the 100 contribution points to do this. And so I have the 100 contribution points now, so I can go ahead and do it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So here we are. We are going to go ahead and get the kaya weapons and armor so first we're going to pick up the kaya longsword here from kenobis i'll show you on the map exactly where this is afterwards but we're going to pick up the longsword it's going to have to pay um 50 contribution points but like i said we have that so it's no issue so we're going to go ahead and pick that up and then we're going to i'm going to show you just how good this is so we have a plus 14 weapon currently all right so obviously plus four that's best years where is it is my here it is right here there is my kaya you can see it's exactly the same as the bears plus 14 which i paid like 12 million for uh it's got the same accuracy but the item effects um it has the extra damage which is the same but this has attack speed and casting speed plus one and critical hit plus one for the money saved um between this and even the plus 15 i really like the kaya for this point and so that's why i don't spend any of my contribution points i like to hold on to them till this point now you have to make the decision do you want the regular armor chest piece shoes gloves or helmet um, you're going to get the Lord set here very soon, which I'll go over that when we hit that. But we're going to get the Lord set. So what I'm going to do is actually take the chest piece until we get the Dim Magical, which is later on. And so then I can return it and put the Dim Magical on. So we're going to go ahead and take the Kaya. You can see it has 48 armor. Uh, pretty darn good. And so I'm going to pick that up and put that on can see it'll be a massive upgrade of 25 get our dp up to 85 we can also pop these packs open uh, so we'll pop that open and we'll pop this open nothing too crazy out of those i mean we got some stuff but mostly just um these crystals that are fairly good crystals i will say that we got the volks cry which all in all is not too bad we've got a mervs palette seven days which is also not horrible um but yeah just a bunch of not as great stuff it got it gave us some black stones and armor stones which are really nice um but yeah now we're aiming for the level 50 packs you can see what we get there pretty decent stuff uh for hitting level 50 so we have a little bit to hit that but i should hit level 50 in this video i'm gonna go ahead and list this bears long stored up on the on the auction as well as clean up the inventory a little bit and then we will continue with the rest of the stuff we can turn this quest in it doesn't give you anything it's just kind of stating that you completed the quest and well we get a title from it but then we are going to go ahead and continue the story uh, I should probably, like I said, show you guys. It will auto-path you here, but it is right here in Calphian. We're up on this little ledge right here. So if I zoom out and zoom in, you can see right next to where the Calphian logo is. We're right there. Uh, we'll be doing the next quest, the story of the hero born upon the winds. And this is actually in Calphian. That's why I came back to get the weapons at this point. Um, you can go without buying a weapon. You can kind of hold off. I found it's a little bit difficult to hold off until this point with the ultimate steed, but you can do it. But my main suggestion is to not hold off to do it. But yeah, 
I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead here. We'll get back with a little bit more. I'm just going to do main story, and when I feel like I need to cut in, I will cut in and talk to you guys again. And we are back here at Catfish Men. So we talked to Petreo and got the Why Our Skin Loses Vitality quest. You'll want to grab the two quests here from these guys. So first is from Grintz. He has a repeat quest for... Uh, Catfishman rib meat, catfishman's fins, and light armored warrior's leg meat. So you're gonna want to grab that from him, and then down here uh, from Bernatisha, Bernatisha, what, Bernatisha. I don't know. I guess she has a repeat one, which is just exterminate catfishmen. You'll need to kill 120, which you will most likely get done in the course of doing all of this. Every once on Xbox, there one of the people out here has a quest. So if you're on Xbox, I don't know what triggers that quest, but I know there's three people that give quests here. Uh, I think, I want to say it's either this soldier here or this soldier here, um, or this guy over here. One of these two. It's one of those four people, I think. I don't know what triggers the quest per se, but I know that there's another person that gives a quest that's right here. So let's go ahead. We'll keep on advancing. I think I would like to get to level 50 in this episode, and then that'll be the end of the episode. So should hit that fairly soon. Maybe a couple more interrupts and we'll be level 50. All right. So here's where we're going to call the video. Uh, we're going to turn in these quests here and then i have a couple of things to talk about before uh, we do call it an episode we do have the boss but we're going to lead off the next episode with the boss i think that's a good thing to start because uh, that'll be the final like um that'll be the final episode before we start doing tips that'll be like the final progression episode so repeat so it melts your mouth we can complete this quest i don't really care for those rewards but i'll take whatever i can get and obviously these rewards aren't the greatest but you're gonna complete some of this stuff anyway so you might as well go ahead and complete it that's just kind of how i feel about it so in order to reach level 50 you need to use the memory piece so the memory piece where is it in my inventory is in slot one the clear memory piece here all you got to do is hit x on it and use it and that will allow you to go past level 49 to 50. If you do not use it, you'll stay at level 49, 99.99%. Um, so yeah, you obviously have to use it. The next thing that we picked up were the tree ant stuff. This is stuff that you're going to want to get. You're going to get um, the earrings from Lake Kaya. You're going to get the belt from Rudin Outstation. The rings from Mancha Forest. And the necklace from the tree ant forest. So these are really good. You can see they have five attack increase. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these on. Brings our AP up to 99. Next is the Lorge set. These can be found in the same locations as the Tree Ant. And they are massive upgrades over the uh, basic armor that you already have. Uh, the armor piece in the Tree Ant Forest is comparable to what you've rented in the Kaya armor. So if you do get that as a drop, you can consider returning the the uh, Kai armor. I'll uh, go over that if we actually do acquire that in the, in the future here. Um, we did not hit level 50 in this video, but we'll hit it in the next one and we'll pop these open then. Uh, but that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to talk about, guys. That's going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you'll come check out the stream tomorrow or if the stream on Wednesday works better for you or even if the stream on Thursday works better for you. I hope, I hope you can come hang out for one of them. Um, I'll answer questions and we'll just hang out and then play some Black Desert. So I will see you all then, or I'll see you in tomorrow night's video. Peace.